Good afternoon, everyone. It is about 4.30 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Um, I went to uh, my gender therapist appointment yesterday at noon, and in order to get there, I kind of had to take like a 9 o'clock bus, and I took a bus into town, but it was the same bus that was going to take me out to the Orange Park Mall, so rather than stand up and wait for a bus at the bus stop, which I don't like to do that. Um, I decided to go up early and up the street from where I live, there's a place you can sit down and wait for the bus. So that's what I do. Okay. And um, anyway, so I rode the bus into town and I just stayed on the bus and clicked my card again for a free ride down to the Orange Park Mall. So and then there's a shuttle bus down there that takes me another three or four miles to uh, a location within maybe a half a mile walk to my counselor. So anyway, so I basically, you know, uh, I got to my counselor's office about 1130 and saw, you know, had my meeting for an hour from noon till one. Then I have to walk to a bus stop. Anyway, but and wait wait a while for the shuttle bus back to the mall where I can catch a bus back to Jacksonville. But anyways, so I had a good time, and um, yesterday they had a, a citywide event on the 24th, and there was a lot of restaurants that were sponsoring this, and they would give a percentage of their uh, take for the day. Uh, so a lot of people went out to eat and you know a portion of what you purchased price would be donated by that restaurant for um, some uh, LGBT organization here in northern uh, Florida it's called NFAN or something like that NFAN so anyways, I, I, I wanted to participate in that. So I took a bus, another bus. Instead of going home about 3 p.m., I decided to take a bus into town. And so I went to uh, Carmen's Pie House. They were participating in that. And Francis loves the Philly steak stromboli that they have. And I also ordered some it's a happy hour between two and six so i got there about 4 p.m so um you know some of the ales they have on the menu are from a local microbrewery and they're like half price during half half hour. so you get two for the price of one so so instead of paying you know five something six dollars for one pint of ale i'm getting two for that so so that knocks the price down to like what two two fifty to three dollars a pint. So hey, you know. So I tried like three or four different kinds because uh, you know you try one and it tastes okay, but you say, well, okay, I'm gonna try something different. So that's how you find out, you know, what different things taste like, you know. And I'm all for the flavor, right? So one of them was a little bit too much like Guinness Stout, so I probably won't order that. I like ales. And speaking of ale, I'm sipping on some Mickey's uh, ice frosted um, ale, ice brewed ale. So I got this. This is like, uh, I bought eight pints, so you, two four packs, right? And with tax, it was 701. So basically, that's under a dollar a pint, you know. And it tastes pretty good. See, I'm sipping on it now, you know. But anyways, after walking all these bus stops and finally getting home just before 9 p.m. last night, I basically was on the road from uh, 8.45, went to the bus stop yesterday morning, didn't get home till 8.45, 12 hours. So I was rather tired because I had drank a lot and, you know, beers are depressing, you know, whatever. I don't know. So I crashed in bed. So anyways... Woke up in the middle of the night and I'm listening to the radio show and falling asleep. I missed a lot of it, but I heard a lot of it too. 
But when I woke up, when I get in the early morning hours, like 2, 3 a.m., I'm, I'm, I'm rolling out of bed and sitting up because you have to go to the bathroom. I drank all that ale yesterday. Oh, my back was aching so bad. And this morning, I could, I, I could almost not even get out of bed and go potty, right? So, uh, oh, the pain was horrible. So I posted all this on my Facebook page. So, so anyways, uh, five minutes. Okay, that's enough for what I did for partying yesterday. Uh, seriously, uh, I had a really good uh, meeting with my uh, gender psych psychotherapist. And uh, we had a really good heart-to-heart -heart talk. We covered some religious issues. And she shared some things about the fact that for a, a year or two, she didn't even, um, I probably shouldn't talk about this, it's private. But she was questioning whether what she was doing, counseling transgender people was right. You know, so she, she isn't just, um, you know, doing this for money or anything. So she had to do some soul searching and everything for a while. And, and then she sent me an article that, that she had read before, and I posted that on my Facebook page, okay? So this channel is Francis Maginus with a capital G, okay? And that's the same exact spelling as my Facebook page. So everybody uh, that wants, this article is very long, but you can download it as a PDF. Uh, there's some copyright <clears throat> restrictions on it. You know, you can't reproduce or chop it up and sell parts of it and stuff like that. You know, just typical stuff like that. But you can use it, and I even copied and pasted some of the paragraphs in it and made a separate file for, on my computer for my benefit. I'm not going to be selling the material or anything like that. But if something comes up, in the future, when I'm talking to somebody and, you know, I can always go back to this document that's copyrighted on my computer, <clears throat> and I can use that as a reference material. And this, and this article has many, many references, and a lot of the things she says in this article is uh, footnoted, and there's a big, huge, long list of references, okay? So... Uh, <clears throat> so it's a very, um, what do you call, um, well-documented letter. And I guess it took this minister a long time to write this letter. They spent many, many hours, you know, digging all this material up. And, and this person was a Baptist minister, okay? So um, that's for all you religious people out there that think I'm, you know, I went off the deep end. <laughs> anyway, so we had a good talk. And, you know, a lot of things happened to me last week, Easter week. Uh, I was in contact with some of my family members. And, uh, you know, it's getting real close. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is Friday. So, like, in less than two weeks, I'm going to be having a doctor's appointment, my endocrinologist, and get my... Um, blood test results. I'm very curious about that. And uh, anyway, so uh, so anyways, I had a wonderful visit with my uh, counselor and uh, and then, you know, I went out to like eat and, and have a few pints of ale. So I had a really good day yesterday, but I walked around a lot, you know, and usually when I go places, I'm usually home within six or eight hours, but yesterday was a 12-hour day, and believe me, I was, like, very tired, and the bus, I just missed, missed the bus, and I had to, like, basically take a bus downtown and catch the last bus out that brings me right out on the street out opposite my apartment, so... It was a long day, you know. I probably should have just went home after my appointment with the counselor, and after I would have been I would have been home by three o'clock. That's a six-hour chooch. 
And I probably wouldn't have woke up with a sore back if I did that. But you know, Francis, you know, I'm, I'm always like pushing the envelope, you know. And I feel really good, you know. And uh, so, and all the pain's almost gone away. And it wasn't because I was drinking a couple of these. I took some, I didn't take any medication. I did not take over-the-counter pain relief medication. I took a couple supplements. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's another thing. And then I steamed some broccoli to get my vitamin C. You know, after you go out and drink a lot, you got to kind of restore. So, see, I ate about half. It was about twice as much. This is broccoli and peas I steamed together. And then after I steamed them, I kind of drained them through a colander. And all the liquid I retained and added more water. And I boiled, in fact, it's still boiling a little. I boiled some chicken. So I got some skinless chicken thighs, okay? So I, I already ate one, see? Here's the casualty, just the bone. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not really uh, eating too many carbs today. I'm kind of like focusing on green vegetables and chicken. So... Yesterday I had a lot of carbs. I had a stromboli, uh, Philly beef, uh, stromboli. It's called the Barbarossa, and it is delicious, folks. If, if you live in the Jacksonville, Florida area, you've got to go to Carmen's Pie House and have a stromboli, okay? I mean, put that on your bucket list because you'll go there and have one, and they got like six different flavors. You know, they got chicken, sausage beef, you know, different cheese, you know, oh, and it's like a horseshoe, it looks like, it looks like a big, huge, fat, round boomerang from Australia, <laughs> and you cut it up, you know, knife, you give you a steak knife, and I just cut sections out, and dip it in the tomato sauce, and eat it, man, it's so good. So, uh, anyways, I wish I could mail one to Ricky Messicola up in New York City, but, you know, oh, well, I know you'd love it, Ricky, because it is delicious, okay? So, anyways, uh, gee, uh, what am I talking about next here? Okay, so, so anyways, go to my Facebook uh, page. Uh, I posted those things earlier today, and... You can download this article as a PDF file and save it on your computer. And th there are some copyright restrictions, but as long as you use this article for your own personal use and don't chop it up and uh, misrepresent it or quote it um, without referring back to the original document, you know, there's copyright restrictions. But it says that you are free to publish, not publish it, but use it as a reference material to help other people in a non-commercial setting, you know. So as long as you don't make any money or, you know, try to sell this information under your uh, fabricated document or book, or whatever. They just want, you know, they just want people to... Um, you know, give credit where credit's due, okay? So, that's normal, okay? So, anyways, I just want to give you a heads up about that. And my counselor also gave me some other information, another website to go to, which um, I will be looking at probably later. Well, not today, I'm tired, but I've been chooching on this computer since like about 9 o'clock this morning, so that's almost 8 hours. I... I didn't think I was going to last two hours, but my back pain started to get reduced, and I had I have I was having to two cane it around. Oh, where's my other cane? Oh, it must be. I got a wood cane and I got this umbrella, so I'm kind of like walking with these two canes, you know, to to get a to get to the bathroom before I start going before I get to the porcelain, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I haven't had an accident yet today, so thank God for that, right? But, anyways, so uh, that's about it right now, and for anybody that, this is my left, and this is my right. Sometimes these things get twisted around, mirror image, but 
it it is accurate this is my right hand this is my left okay so and I have a bra on and this is the purple blouse I wore yesterday actually I just put this on to make the video I was sort of hanging around with um, just the bra earlier prior to that didn't have anything on except my undies you know <laughs> But we can't show you that. Okay, love everybody, and uh, check out check out my Facebook page. And um, there's a lot of stuff on there. You know, I mean, uh, some people probably don't even know I have a Facebook page, but oh well, you know. And I've been there most of the day making comments, so this I just chooched over here to make a recording, and I'll upload this later today. Right now it's 4.48 p.m., so this should be uploaded on my YouTube channel by 6 o'clock, okay, p.m. tonight, okay, Friday night. Not going anywhere today, folks. Francis is home resting because um, I was a little too little overactive yesterday and uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow maybe I'll go see a movie something restful you know just take the bus down to the movie theater see a movie come back home hey love you bye